And welcome to another week of Georgia Southern Football. I'm Josh Aubrey coming to you from Paulson Stadium as the Georgia Southern Eagles get set to take on the Chattanooga Mocs. Eagles ranked number one in the nation, coming off an easy victory on the road at Elon. Meanwhile, Chattanooga has lost their last two Southern Conference games by a combined three points. They've given the Eagles fits over the past couple years, but a 1-11 here at Paulson Stadium. Let's send you right out for first half action. Georgia Southern squaring off against Chattanooga and a bad omen to start the game as Freedom the Eagle decides to check out the tailgate area rather than visiting Steve Hine. The good news though is Freedom finally made his way back and speaking of making his way back, Derek Hyden leading the team onto the field and Halo or not, it's good to see Derek back on the field. As for the action, Things pretty sloppy in the first. J. Bo Shaw coughs up the ball. Chattanooga recovers, but unable to put any points up as they'd struggle as well. And we go to the second quarter with no score. In the second, the Eagles able to take advantage of a mock mistake as they'd recover the fumble. And on the next play, the pitch goes to Robert Brown, who gets a nice block from Darian Robinson and then Brown does the rest himself, sprinting down the sidelines, 68 yards inside the Mach 20 yard line. And that would lead to something the Eagles worked on quite a bit this week in practice. The counter to Dominique Swope. Swope goes in virtually untouched, 22 yards. Eagles up 7-0. The defense holding Chattanooga in check. Brent Russell with the stop. And then a little bit later, B.J. Coleman back to pass, and he's dropped quickly by John Douglas. Still in the second, J. Bo Shaw hits J.J. Wilcox, and check out the run here as Wilcox trucks Kadeem Wise and gets into the end zone for the 20-yard score. It's 14-0 Georgia Southern. The Eagles knock Coleman out of the game. His backup freshman Terrell Robinson leads the team on an 11-play 82-yard drive with this touchdown. Makes it 14-7. The Eagles try and respond before the half. Shaw to Robert Brown who fights his way ahead 15 yards just shy of the goal line. Shaw does the rest himself scoring on the sneak. And we go to the half with the Eagles leading 21-7. Second half, the Mocs waste no time scoring as J.J. Jackson goes 20 yards, cutting the lead to 21 to 14 to the fourth. And a little strange to see quarterback named Robinson, number 17, doing this as Paulson, but it's not Kenny, rather Terrell. And we're tied at 21 all, but the Eagles march right back downfield. Darian Robinson with a 15-yard pickup and an Eagle first down next to give to Robert Brown, who piled up 169 yards rushing, including this 47-yarder as he stopped just shy of the goal line. No problem. Shaw does the rest himself again. Well, of course, he did get a little help up front from the O-line. 28-21 Eagles, but again, the mocks come back behind quarterback Terrell Robinson. Here on fourth down, he picks up 15, and then with just under two minutes to go in the game, Robinson with his third touchdown. The lead cut to one. The mocks then elect to go for the win rather than the tie, and Josh Rowe makes that look like a bad decision. He and John Douglas combine on the stop, and the Eagles escape, winning 28-27. We we're going to be facing other teams that has the ability that Chattanooga has. Um, them having a great secondary and giving us a competition, um, it opened our eyes that to see down the road that we're going to play other teams that pretty much just the same. So it, it, it definitely opened our eyes. We've hit some uh, adversity today, and that was really the first time since Sanford, maybe in the first half, that we uh, hit some adversity, and we were able to push through and make the plays to be able to win. So that was the most important thing, but we can definitely play a lot better, and we'll see that on the film tomorrow and Monday, but we, uh, we need to move on and get ready for Furman. The games like this, you know, every game's not going to be 60 to 20. Every game's not going to be 28 to 27, but whenever you get an opportunity, you got to make the most of it, and that's what we tried to do today. And, you know, Chattanooga, they made the best of their opportunities too also, so like I said, it's just everything worth it in our favor this game. You face a little adversity, and you overcome it, and keep fighting, and you know you see what happens. You fight for 60 minutes, and uh, football games, that's what it's for. You know, the missed tackles, missed assignments, uh, missed opportunities to, to sustain blocks, and um, you know, but with that said, our guys found a way to win, and, uh, and that's the important thing. 
and uh, we're certainly not going to be disappointed with a win. You, you can you can feel like you want to play better and and, uh, and and say, gosh, if we would have done this, uh, it could have been different. But I just I credit our, our guys and just the the uh, the effort there at the end of the fourth quarter, the defense on the two point conversion, and, and uh, but Chattanooga's got a good football team. That was clear today, and we knew they would be. They we knew they'd be ready. We knew they had a good team, well coached. Did a tremendous job running the football in the second half. Uh, and just, gosh, we knew it was going to be a dog fight. And, uh, and I'm just so grateful that we were able to find a way to, to pull it out.